IOLAMD. Magnify life. In a healthy eye, light enters through the cornea and is focused by the eye's natural lens onto the retina. Special receptors process the light and transmit these signals to the brain along the optic nerve. Age-related macular degeneration, also called AMD, is a deterioration of the central area of the retina called the macula. A normal macula is approximately 5.5 mm in diameter and is responsible for central vision and for seeing fine detail. AMD is the leading cause of visual impairment in the over 55 age group. As would be expected by its name, age is one of the most important risk factors for AMD. It is estimated that around 5% of people aged 60 have AMD. This rises to more than 50% of people aged 85 or over. Dry age-related macular degeneration is the most common type of AMD, accounting for around 9 out of 10 cases. Dry AMD develops through wear and tear as we age. The cells of the macula become damaged due to a lack of nutrients, and this results in a build-up of waste products that appear as white or yellowish spots called drusen, which occur at and around the macular area. AMD causes visual distortions and the loss of central vision, making it difficult to drive, see faces or read. Vision loss is normally gradual, occurring over many years, and peripheral vision is not affected. AMD patients have mostly been told that nothing could be done as their vision has deteriorated, negatively affecting their lifestyle. That's because, until now, there hasn't been a widely accepted treatment that restores central vision in dry AMD patients. Whilst solutions have previously been proposed, they've had significant drawbacks which has limited their use. The main drawback was the old-fashioned surgical techniques required to implant the necessary optical devices into the AMD patient's eye. Until now, if an eye surgeon wanted to offer a solution to an AMD patient, they'd have to perform complex open-eye surgery, like that performed in the 1980s and 1990s, instead of modern-day, advanced, micro-incision, sutureless surgical techniques. Surgeons have understandably been reluctant to do this, as the old-fashioned and complex surgery required large incisions which greatly increased surgical risks, required multiple sutures, caused extended healing time and significantly affected image quality achieved after surgery. Due to these compromises, the vast majority of eye surgeons haven't offered these options to their patients, so the use of these previous devices has been very limited. However, a team of leading eye surgeons and scientists have been working on this problem and have developed a new breakthrough surgical procedure called IOLAMD that solves these issues for the first time. In the IOLAMD procedure, two tiny lenses are placed inside the eye using highly advanced modern surgical techniques. Only a micro incision is required greatly reducing the risks associated with the surgery itself and significantly improving healing time. The incision is so small, no sutures are required. The IOL AMD lenses contain advanced optics, similar to those that were created to fix the Hubble telescope, ensuring that it could clearly view far-off galaxies as it travelled through space. When the Hubble telescope was first launched into space, the NASA scientists realised that the images from the telescope were fuzzy and out of focus. To solve this problem, an advanced optical solution was created and fitted to the telescope to reduce the effects of the optical distortions. The optical upgrade was successful, ensuring crystal clear images could be taken of stars and planets billions of light years away. Optical science has continued to develop in this area, and through working with one of the world's leading optical physicists, the team behind IOL AMD have incorporated some of these advanced capabilities into our tiny lenses to give AMD patients the chance of significantly improved vision. During the surgery, the unique IOL AMD lenses are injected into the eye through a tiny incision. The incision is so small, no sutures are required. Both lenses are positioned behind the iris, which is the coloured part of the eye around the pupil. Once implanted, the IOL AMD lenses are invisible from outside the patient's eye. The whole surgical procedure takes around 10 minutes and can be performed under a local anaesthetic. 
The two IOL AMD lenses work together to act like a gentle telescope, slightly magnifying the image entering the eye and diverting it to a healthier part of the retina. This section of healthier retina receives the image, taking over the role of the macula, and can provide the IOL AMD patient with significantly improved vision. Depending on the visual potential remaining in the eye, an IOL AMD patient could regain the ability to drive, read or see faces, significantly improving their quality of life. The IOL AMD system can help patients with dry and established wet forms of AMD and also patients with other forms of macular disease, including macular holes, myopic degeneration and hereditary retinal diseases such as Stargardt's and Best's. An IOL AMD trained eye doctor can perform simple, non-intrusive tests to determine if you're a candidate for the IOL AMD procedure and explain prior to surgery what visual improvement could be achieved. If you're interested in learning more about the IOL AMD procedure, please visit our website www.iolamd.com IOL AMD Magnify Life